The ally is finally here, but is it any good? Today, we take it to the test. In the latest Pedro Beta, 1.18.30.23 if you are interested, the mob that won Minecraft Live 2021's mob boat finally got introduced into the game. But is it what the community was waiting for? It's time to test it. Before we get into the video, an important disclaimer. This is a beta version of the ally, and many things can and will change before the final release. It's really important to voice your thoughts on it. The devs are listening. Oh, and also, hit that subscribe button for more amazing Minecraft content. Before before we start testing a recap, the ally spawns at pillager outpost. If you give it an item, it will follow you. It will pick items of the same group as the one you gave it. The word group is important here, we'll test that later. It will give the items it collect back to you, or to the last note block it has heard in the last 30 seconds. But everybody knows this, right? It's time to test. Ally test number one, mining. For this test, we'll put a note block over here, and we'll build a little collection system for what the ally picks up. I put the note block into the wall because the ally just throws the items up. And Collecting them can be quite a challenge, so if we do it this way, everything will be easier. Can you please move out of the way? Thank you. And with this, our collection system is complete. But there is one more detail we need to take care of before we start, and it's the fact that the ally only drops its items at an O-block that he has heard in the last 30 seconds. So we need to install some kind of redstone clock that activates the O-block periodically. Alright, the clock is done. The sound is not that annoying, right? Let's test the system. I wonder what happens if we throw multiple stacks at it. Oh, he's picking them one by one. And if I pick them up... I see! So it can't pick up many items at the same time, but if its inventory is full, it will just pick them up one by one and throw them. That can be a problem. Okay, we found an area to improve over here. Another thing I wanted to show you is that the ally won't just pick the same item that you gave it, but it will also pick up all the items from the same family. What this means is that if we gave it a stone, and we throw a stone, it will of course pick it up. If we throw it on the side, it will also pick it up. Diorite and granite. One. There we go. Cobblestone. No. It will not pick up the cobblestone. Okay, no fortune mining for this guy. Deep slate. Doesn't care about the deep slate. Cobble deep slate then. Nothing, right? No. If you left click only with an empty hand, it will give you the item. And let's try giving it some deep slate. Yo! Get back here! There we go. Follow me. Deep slate. Picks up the deep slate. Cobble deep slate. It does not care about it. So we need multiple allies if we want to pick up all the items from our regular mining session. I've only seen them spawning two at a time at the pillager outpost, so I'm going to summon, let's say, three. That's a good number. That one has the stone, we'll give you deep slate, and to the last one, we'll give dirt. Where did it go? Get back here, where is it going? I love how they glow in the dark, though. Okay, nice, you got the dirt, come back here. Please don't tell me these guys get stuck. One, two, and three, we got them. I'm going to give myself a good pickaxe, some food, and I'm going to fill my inventory with items that the allies can't pick up. So we're going to rely entirely on them for iron collection. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to set up a beacon over here. There we go. We'll give it haste 3. We'll switch our game mode to survival. And I'm going to mine around this area for 15 minutes. Let's see if these allies are any good. All right, we are back. And I actually stopped the test three minutes earlier because as you can see, the allies don't seem to be able to keep up with picking up all the items. In fact, all the items over here have despawned. They seem to be really slow at it, picking them one by one. I think that it must be that their inventory is got full at the beginning, and then they just go pick them one by one, as we observed earlier. I think that this really needs to be fixed. I wonder what would happen if this bug wasn't present. Maybe just one ally for each type of block will be enough, but so far it seems like you need multiple of them, and there is one problem with that, and it is that there's no way to breed them. And there don't seem to be that many at pillager outposts, so I'm assuming that getting them and bringing them all the way over here is not a practical solution. So I am sorry, LA, but you are not that good for mining. Oh. What's going on here? What's going on? Oh! <laughs> okay. This is interesting. What is this guy doing? He's just... Brrr. Yeah, you. What are you doing? Yeah, I think these guys need a little bit more work. But now it's time for the second test. Sorting of unstackable items. This is a feature that the community has been really looking forward to because there is so potential for a solution in the LA. I have designed this contraption for the LA to pick up the items. Come back. What? It's not following me. It's just there. Okay, come here. This is the simplest contraption I could design 
for the LA to retrieve the items. It's not that simple to design something that works because the LA throws the items all around. So just putting a hopper minecart underneath the node block is not enough. And allow me to demonstrate if I throw some items over here, the LA picks them up, throws them to the node block and the water pushes them to the hoppers. And they end up right here. Let's throw a lot. And let's see the LA in action. One by one. Oh man, this is really a problem. But let's do this. Let's try with unstackable items. Oh. Okay. Over here, I have five swords. It's time to see what happens if I give it one. Come over here. Give me this. And take this one. Get back. Here we go. That's a little bit scary. Throw it on the ground. Okay. It picks it up. And throws it. Let's see, if I throw an enchanted one. Yes, it works. Pretty nice. I wonder what will happen if I throw a lot. I see, it goes one by one. I think it only has one slot of inventory. So it can only pick one up. It's throwing another, I'll pick all of them. Yes, it can only hold one at the same time. Hmm, I can already foresee some trouble. Let's try a different kind of sword. If I throw a stone one, will it pick it up? No. It won't. So this means that you will need one ally for each type of unstackable item you want to sort. I foresee more trouble. But let's go to a practical case. Let's say you want this ally to sort your items at a raid farm. Among all the unstackable items you can get on a raid farm, you'll get totems, crossbows, and iron axes, apart from potions. So let's summon one, give it a totem, another one, get the crossbow. Get over here, it can be hard sometimes. Get over here. Get the crossbow. It, it won't get the crossbow. I think the game thinks I, I want to shoot it. Let me see. Let's give it a potion of fire resistance. It also won't let me. Could it be that all the items I have a use are impossible to be given to an ally? I don't want to believe it. By the way, that guy is still following me for some reason. It also doesn't seem to want to take anything else. I have a theory. Yes! It had a crossbow. The ally had an invisible crossbow. Okay. Get back here. If I give it a crossbow, I think it's holding it. Let me see. Yes, it's true. Crossbows turn invisible when held by an ally. Very interesting stuff. GG Mojang. So maybe I can give them potions. Yes, yes, you can give them potions. Nice. All right, I have three allies, one with a totem. One with an axe, and one with an invisible crossbow. I've also set up a little contraption over here that will simulate the output of a raid farm. Or a list of axes, crossbows, and totems of undying. There is, though, one problem I'm foreseeing, and it is that you can't correlate one node block to one LA. As you can see, all three are picking this one over here, and if I think that if I put a second one, they will just link between the two, back and forth. So the solution, I guess, will be to trap each LA in a room, and they give them the item they are supposed to pick up, and for that, you will be required to actually filter the items, maybe. I don't know, maybe there is something I'm not seeing over here, but this doesn't seem like it's going to work. Let's try it anyway. Flick the lever. There we go. Let's see. Good. Yeah, it's... They are doing what they are supposed to be doing. Sometimes they get confused and they walk towards me. As if they were... For Look, this one. As if they were forgetting the node block they were assigned to. Let's push into the limits. Let's make this clock faster. That one is confused. That one is confused. It just gave up. Look. It's not picking up the... It's not picking up the totems. Don't give up, little guy. Come on, you got it. I know you like that one, but come... Just... Okay. Let me see. Let's make them even faster. These two are keeping up fairly well. But yeah, they are starting to lag out. And <laughs> this one also got stuck. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one stuck. Come on, little boy. You got this. I need to go faster. It's keeping up. No, he's not doing it well. This got filled really quick, though. So look at that. Oh! Yeah, but look at these two. I think allies are not that good for picking up unstackable items. Again, maybe there is something I'm not seeing here. A contraption that could work, but I don't know. They just seem to be bugged. I guess you can use them to select what items you want to keep. I think that with the testing I did today, though, I can fairly say that the allies are not 
that great. Or at least not at this point. I feel there's still lots of work to be done here. But we'll talk about it on the next time because this is the end of this video. My name is Bruno. This was the LA. And I am out. Goodbye.